Hi, I'm Jeremy with Rock Crawler. We're out here in the uh, back shop, our, our new R&D section today. I want to go over a little bit about coil springs with you guys. There's three basic types of coils. You've got a linear coil, a progressive coil, and a multifunctional rate coil spring. The first coil spring that we'd like to discuss is your straight rate or linear rate coil spring, where the coil spring rate is constant throughout the entire body of the coil. These are very simple coils to use and tune. They're commonly used in the aftermarket because of their simplicity. The biggest issue that you have with them is the fact that the rate is constant throughout the entire body of the coil, so there's no optimal handling or off-road performance without adding in other components to your system. Here we have a simple bar graph of spring rate versus coil spring compression. For a linear coil, your spring rate is perfectly constant all the way across. So if, for say, this is your ride height, on both, both sides of the ride height position, your spring rate is perfectly linear, making it constant throughout your entire suspension cycle. The additional aftermarket components that would enhance a standard linear rate coil spring would be items like sway bars or aftermarket hydraulic bump stops or things of that nature to dial in on-road handling and true off-road performance. The next coil is a standard progressive rate coil. Now we don't have one on the table, but the way a progressive rate coil works is throughout the entire body length of the coil, the spring rate is constantly increasing. Now, they can be a very good off-road performing coil, but they're very difficult to do to dial in for on-road ride quality. If you think about it, every vehicle's given ride height is functioning in a different spring rate zone in that coil, making them very difficult to tune. The second bar graph we're showing is a progressive rate coil. As you can see, the coil spring rate is constantly increasing throughout the coil spring compression cycle. Therefore, at a specific ride height, on one side your spring rate is less, and on the other side your spring rate is higher. For different vehicles and different builds that weigh di different, your ride height position is going to vary, so for those given applications, your spring rate is going to be different for every vehicle build, making it very difficult to tune for street use. The third and final type of coil spring is your multi-rate coil spring. You have true functional multi-rate coil springs and you have a multi-rate coil spring that does not necessarily function as a multi-rate coil spring. When installed in the vehicle, these coils are all collapsed so they are not performing a function at all. You are riding on the bottom couple of windings of the coils which is actually returning it to a linear coil just like your standard rate coil spring. One area of concern of a coil such as this nature is you have so few windings actually operating in the vehicle, you have a very high stress on the, the coil windings, which promotes coil sag and spring fade. Next, we'll get into the multi-rate coil springs. A, what is typically known as a dual-rate coil is, has a non-functional multi-rate feature. Again, the bar graph of spring rate versus coil spring compression. Typically, your first rate, where you have dead coils, is a very soft, linear rate. Then you'll experience a sharp jump up into the normal operating spring rate, and again, it maintains a linear path. So around your ride height, the coil spring is functioning as a standard linear rate coil. A more desirable multifunctional rate coil is something of this nature. These are both what we would consider a triple rate coil. Obviously, they look a little different, different applications. With your multi-rate coils, your first zone can, in some instances, be a dead zone, which is designed to achieve a specific free length or length of coil so the, to resist coil spring unseating at full droop conditions. Your next zone is actually your linear or your standard ride height zone for most applications, making it very easy to tune, and no matter how your build is, we're guaranteeing the ride quality of the vehicle to be in that operating range where we want it to be. Then you'll have a transition zone, which again can, can be a little bit different ranges, into a firmer rate. So as you're pushing the vehicle into cornering or off-road, you're going to be transitioning into a firm rate, actually helping your bump stops and other components in the vehicle function to perform. Here we have an example of our rock crawler functional multi-rate coil. For example, this would be a great instance of how a JK front coil operates. Again, spring rate versus coil spring compression. You have a very soft linear rate for the 
beginning section of the coil. Sometimes the coils would be touching each other or a dead, dead zone. Then they will smoothly transition to a soft ride rate over a specific area of the coil operation. Then, on, then where we typically experience people pushing their vehicles into hard cording and things of that nature, we jump, we start having a smooth transition up into a firmer rate to again help vehicle handling where finally you'll see us end out with a you know pretty decently firm rate which is designed to resist a hard resist hard bottoming here is the example of the Rockefeller functional multi-rate coil for the JK rears again spring rate versus coil spring compression this coil is very different from all of our other multi-rate coils we start off with a very smooth and soft linear rate where we typically find vehicles being pushed into hard cornering we start to have a smooth transition to a slightly firmer rate. From that point, we also continue on to a third transition that is nice and smooth to an extremely firm rate to resist hard bottoming. So now let's take a look at a few dynamic conditions in the vehicles that will make the rock crawler functional multi-rate coils desirable. Here we have a 1.5 X-Factor system on a JK four-door up on the lift. When we designed our functional multi-rate coil springs, we optimized them for ride quality, handling, and obviously off-road performance. One of the conditions we've taken into account is when you're off-road and the two coil spring seats become not parallel to one another, your coils have a tendency to buckle. This has the tendency to reduce coil spring rate. If you have a linear coil spring, you have nothing making up the reduction in rate, making your vehicle less stable. By taking into account that this condition does exist, with our transition to a firmer rate, we've actually stabilized the vehicle in this condition.